We're going to take a look at a beautiful tune. This is, of course, Sentimental Lady from uh, the second incarnation of Fleetwood Mac. Uh, the, the, the Bob Welch version. This is from Bear Trees, 1972. They uh, Now, uh, Fleetwood Mac uh, started, of course, as a blues band, made a few albums with Peter Green, uh, Danny Kerwin, Jeremy Spencer as kind of the driving force. Uh, a couple of years later, Green left, and uh, Bob Welch came on board in 1971 for this album, two albums that completely changed their sound, Future Games and Bear Trees, and then made, they made three more with Bob Welch. So the whole Bob Welch era has sort of been, um, uh, is not as well known as, of course, the Lindsay and Stevie era, but this lasted from 1971 to 1974, and they had some just fabulous tunes um, these are two of my favorite albums of theirs. Uh, the next three had some great ones too. Hypnotized, um, Mystery to Me was the album, um, Emerald Dies. Anyway, okay. And, but so this was the Bob Welch era. And uh, Bob's, Bob, you know, this was one of his contributions, Sentimental Lady. Christine had some great background vocals in it. And um, uh, then Bob re-recorded it when he left the band in 74. And that's, of course, when they started the uh, Lindsay Stevie era. He left the band, but he made a solo album in 1977 called French Kiss, and he redid this, shortened it, shortened it a little bit, so it would be to, and it, and it did turn into kind of a hit for him. Uh, interestingly, the backup band for this was Fleetwood Mac. It was Lindsay, and uh, and Mick and Christine. Bob played both bass, bass and guitar parts, but Lindsay, the the, the studio version of Bob's had a really in intricate. beyond the scope of what I want to go into today. We are going to look at the, a couple of different intros, the way the, the way it was done. But uh, yeah, so Lindsey Buckingham kind of arranged this for Bob's solo version, which did become a little bit of a hit. Um, I have tab. The chord progression is pretty straightforward. It's in the key of E, uses a, uh, E major 7 and F sharp minor are the main two chords in the chorus. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so we'll talk about the chord progression. It's just a bunch of normal chords in the key of E. And, um, uh, but, but a couple different approaches to the intro. When Bob played the solo live versions, he did something like this. Basically, E major 7 and F sharp minor back and forth and landing on a big E major 7 chord. So uh, that's what I mean. We'll, we'll break down a couple different ways of playing the intro. What I played there at the beginning was like three different guitar parts all thrown together just because that's what I do. And, and uh, so I'm not recommending that anybody really spends a lot of time working on that. But we will talk about what the three different parts were. There's one little melody doing that one doing that so it's, it's this harmony happening with a bass part too going in there so um, anyway I just sort of got sidetracked into into seeing how possible it would be to play all that together and you can see it's sort of possible but not worth the trouble okay so uh, coming up we'll break down Bob Welch's classic tune sentimental lady I might even you know I'm gonna do another lesson on this on playing it instrumentally in a different key. So that, uh, I hope to follow up with this in the next few weeks. This is my solo arrangement of Sentimental Lady. So, okay, but this lesson is going to be on just playing along with the band. That's enough.